What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy JP comes out with another how to. Today, we have a 1997 Dodge Ram van. And I'm going to show you how to take this radio out and install your own. If this is your first time tuning into the channel. Please consider subscribing. These are the type of things we do here, man. Car audio tutorials, radio removals, anything car audio install related. That's what this channel is about. So make sure you hit like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to. Why? Because it's free. And that's the way you can keep up with me. As soon as I post a video, you'll get the notification. So, Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. First thing we want to do is look down here at the bottom. We have one, two, three, four, and if I could be, uh, I think that's all one piece and five. We have five Phillips head screws that we have to take out. So let's go ahead and take those out first. And I'm pretty sure everything else will be held in by clips and we'll just have to pull it forward. So let's take those out. Now we also have to open up the glove box and we have one more Phillips head screw right here. It's holding on that panel, so let's get that out of there. All right, so we went ahead and got that out and now the whole thing literally just comes off. Now this is up, this is up under the A-pillar right here. So we can do this a couple different ways. You can just try to go up under the A-pillar like that. Nothing broke. That was that slapping up against it, or you could have easily just took that screw out, but I'm, I'll probably take end up taking that screw out to put it back on just so it'll be easier. Now you have one harness right here that you don't have to take out because this is literally what we wanted to get at. Just gonna take this screw out, that screw out. They're both Phillips head screws, so let's go ahead and take those two out. But we have one eight millimeter bolt. But... Now I should be able to take that radio out just like that. Undo these harnesses. All right. So as you can see, we have that radio out. It does look like this bracket is a factory piece, so you guys may have that eight millimeter at the top as well. But let's get over here to the bench and get that CD player prep and get it wired up. All right guys, so we have the test bench. This is what our factory radio looks like and you just really need this to see where the holes are at, the mounting holes, because your dash kit is the exact same way, but this is more of a universal dash kit for the older Jeep Chrysler and Dodges. So there are certain things that have to be cut off of here. So if you look at it, this one and this one at the top are gonna be the same. And then this one at the bottom, and I believe it's this one. But we can leave both of these two just to be on the safe side and just cut everything else off. I'm just gonna use my cutters like that. It's gonna be real simple. And see, I went ahead and cut literally everything off of there, every single tab. Now, like I said, one of these two tabs are going to get cut, but I just want to make sure that it is this one because you don't want to cut this one off. And then this is the one that you would need because you have to figure out how to make it work with that one. So one of these is going to get cut. We're just going to wait till we get back inside the car for that. But you want to take your sleeve off of your radio. Just put it inside here. Very simple. This is going to be one of the easier... Uh, easier mounting little situations. Push it down and then on the back side you got these little silver tabs. Now these tabs are supposed to come up that way it holds it in place. I'll show you what I mean. I usually take my right angle pick tool stick it in that hole and then it bends that tab up and then I just continue pressing it up and I would do that at the one that's closest to the dash kit. That way, if anything, see how we're pushing it at the top and it's not going anywhere? That's what you want. Do the same thing to the bottom side. Flip it over. I like to take my finger and push those little tabs in so I'm sure that it actually snaps. When I take the CD player, slide it in the top. Literally just snaps in like that. Now we're ready to get this thing wired up and get back inside the car. 
All right, guys, so we're back inside the car. We got everything wired up. If this is your first time here, you're probably thinking, why didn't I actually go over the wiring? Well, I have over 200 different radio removal and install videos, and it takes a whole lot of time to go over the wiring every single time. So to save time, I made one video showing you guys how to uh, hook, hook up CD player wires. I got videos showing you how to solder CD player wires. I go over wire colors, wire connections, what they mean, and all that type of stuff. So you can do that thing yourself. And yes, even though every car is different, um, um, as long as you have that wire harness and don't cut your factory harness, then you'll be able to install pretty much any CD player. Now, if you do have a cut harness, I have another video. I actually have two videos showing you how to hardwire your CD player with a wire diagram and without a wire diagram. So I have a whole how-to playlist showing you guys how to do everything that I pretty much do on a daily basis so you know, so you get all that knowledge as well. Now, if you want to be a furthermore supporter because you want to get those type of wire colors for your vehicle or any vehicle that you're working on that link is also down in the description and if you don't want to do anything monthly there is a little heart down there that you can um kind of just go ahead and give some more support for the channel it just says thanks i ask anybody to do anything that they don't want to do but if you do want to support the channel a little further more then go ahead and uh do that and everything is always appreciated other than that let's go ahead and get this put back in here so we can find out which one we actually need to cut and we'll let you see what it looks like when it's all said and done so as y'all can see, it will be this hole that we need to keep and we need to cut that one because we can't even push the CD player back to get to it. So let's go ahead and cut that bottom tab off. All right, guys, that's what it looks like when it's all said and done. Hope you guys found some type of value in this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment if you want to. Product links in the description, Patreon links in the description. Until next time, this is your boy JP signing out. Man, y'all be blessed.